first alert weather with Cassie Campbell is sponsored by St. Francis Healthcare System. Hey, welcome back to Heartland Afternoon. What a cloudy day. It is a little bit cloudy, rainy. It's kind of been just a mix of that thunderstorm. I'm going to make up a word here. <laughs> like that thunderstormy day. You know, you yeah. the clouds, you hear on and off rain, especially if you're like sitting in the office or mm. even if you're at home, like you just hear spurts of, you know, rain hitting the window. And Well, thank goodness we have Cassie and a radar. Oh my gosh. Let's take a look at the radar. Well, oh, there we go. <laughs> We are seeing an increase in that activity across all of the heartland. It has started to pick up a little bit. Some nice heavy downpours. I do want to zoom into parts that are seeing the heaviest amounts of rain right now. Southern Illinois starting to get a little bit more widespread thunderstorm activity. Quite a bit of lightning, a little bit of some hail. Keeping a very close eye on the storm that's near Caldwell County. There is a chance it could put a severe thunderstorm warning on this scene up to about dime sized hail in the core of this thunderstorm now. And we've had a couple reports of some um, for some lots of thunder and lightning and a little bit of hail here. Also some of those funnel type clouds that people sometimes think are tornadoes, but they're not quite at the ground, but they do have that funnel shape to them right along the front that they sometimes have the chance to form. So we have got a few reports of those across parts of southeast Missouri. Also seeing a lot of rainfall, a little bit of lightning and probably getting a little bit of some pea sized hail in some cores of those storms as well. As we continue into this evening, we are going to track that chance for some on and off scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout the rest of our evening. As we head into the overnight hours, as we lose that sunlight, we will start to see the storm slowly start to diminish and then overnight into Wednesday morning will start to dry up. We are still going to see the clouds stick with us for Wednesday morning, but as we get to the afternoon, should see a little bit of the breaks in the clouds. Some of us are going to get to see some sunshine. The winds are going to be very breezy out of the north wind gusts up to about 20 miles per hour throughout the afternoon. And then as we get into Wednesday evening, should stand there some fairly nice clear skies. So we get into Thursday. That's going to track our next round of some showers and storms that will creep in for Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening. As for today, that being said, some of the storms throughout our afternoon and evening could produce again some gusty winds and a little bit of some hail. So there is parts of the heartland that are outlooked at a level one out of five that threat for some strong to severe storms, mainly across southern Illinois into western Kentucky and a little bit into Tennessee. Right now we're seeing that 77 in Cape Girardeau with the breeze starting to shift out of the northwest, depending on what side of the low pressure you're on. So we head into tomorrow. We're going to be in the 60s, kicking off our morning, gradually increasing into the mid 70s for the afternoon. And I don't think the clouds will be as thick later in the day. We should again start to see some sunshine throughout Wednesday afternoon, but don't put away that rain gear just yet. We are checking on another round of scattered showers and thunderstorms for Thursday and Friday. Good news. Look at the weekend looking much better. It's going to be much warmer. We're tracking 80s Saturday, Sunday into Monday, but at least lots of sunshine as we head into your weekend.